Chalancha. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Let me get. I'm sure there was a rendition of the soldier song here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, not? Irish your flag. <laughs> why not? Hey! Oh, the, that's it. The more flags, the better. Why not? My name is Larry Casey, and I'm dinner chairman of this event for Kevin McGovern. I'm delighted to be here today for celebrating my good friend Kevin McGovern's gold medal award right here at the base of the Manhattan. You can almost see Ellis Island from here where the Irish came in many years ago. Most of our relatives came in right through here, so they came right up this pathway up Broadway. So this is uh, quite a thrill to be here for this flag raising and honor Kevin McGovern tomorrow. Thank you. I'm just very uh, proud to be here representing the American Irish Historical Society on this very special occasion with uh, Kevin McGovern, who is our gold medalist honoree this year. Uh, Kevin McGovern has struck me from the very first moment I met him as the person who is the right person, who does the right thing, and I was going to say at the right time, but I would say all the time. He represents very uh, proudly and very powerfully that kind of special uh, energy and resilience that Irish people have shown. It's led to his own success, but more importantly, it has provided opportunities in business for many people. The thing I think that's most um, exciting about Kevin is that he has gone through many generations of business development. He's an entrepreneur, he's a venture capitalist, he understands how to move fast when many people of his generation have uh, continue to use an old business model. So we're very proud that he will join the company of such people as uh, Cardinal Cook, who is one of our few past uh, bishops and cardinals here in New York, Bono, who everybody knows, and um, many people uh, who stand out in Irish history. So. I'm proud on behalf of the Bowling Green Association uh, to have Mr. McGovern, Mr. Kevin McGovern here and all those who have joined us to raise the Irish flag here at Bowling Green, which is so historic to the Irish community. Um, I have a theory which you may not find anywhere else, but that March 17, 1762, the first, the origin of the St. Patrick's Day Parade, can be viewed as start of both the American and the Irish Revolution. When the Irish soldiers who had been conscripted into the British Army decided to show their, their Irish pride by standing here in defiance of their generals and march up and down Broadway along with colonists, most likely people like Hercules Mulligan. This was the first time in American history that there was, it was not just a matter of pride of the Irish, basically they were protesting. And the fact that there were no repercussions, this was the beginning, this was the first incident in all of America where, where, where there was a gathering of people to in effect protest British rule. And it led any number of years later to the American Revolution and much later to the Irish Revolution. So I, I'm making the case that, that the, both the American and Irish independence had a pivotal moment right here on March 17, 1762. And I'm so proud every time we raise the Irish flag here and that we have another opportunity in honor of Mr. McGovern. Uh, this is a very, very special moment uh, for the McGovern family, but much more importantly for the Irish family both sides of the Atlantic in the U.S. as well as in Ireland. Very, very proud moment to celebrate St. Patrick, to celebrate the American Irish Historical Society and all of that represents. The representation of the entrepreneurs, the cultural leaders, the, uh, the, the scholars, all of the Irish throughout the world that makes such a difference. In this country we know that 14 percent of our population is of Irish descent. And we have a very, very strong word in the uh, politics, etc., of this country. We need to even have a stronger word. So it's a very proud moment for the Irish family in general and for the McGovern family from Leitrim County. Thank you. And of course, I'm very, very proud to represent the Irish family in raising this flag on this very, very special day to commemorate the place where the original St. Patrick's Day parade started here at Bowling Green in New York. Thank you.